Hi, everyone. Um, welcome to the kickoff event for the second annual International Switch Energy Case Competition. Uh, this competition is brought to you by Switch Energy Alliance with support from Chuck and Kathy Williamson and the Hildebrand Department of Petroleum and Geosystem, Geosystems Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. Uh, my name is Olivia Rickert, and I will moderate today's event. Um, as you are probably aware, approximately 2.5 billion people today have little or no access to reliable, affordable energy. The availability of energy impacts almost every aspect of human life, including education, healthcare, shelter, migration, women's rights, and much more. We have brought you here during this global pandemic to address the pervasive issue of energy poverty. This case competition will introduce you to the challenges surrounding finan financing solutions to alleviate global energy poverty and give you the freedom to research and innovate ways to address those challenges. With that, uh, Mary, you could change slides. I am pleased, pleased to introduce Dr. Scott Tinker to our event today. Dr. Tinker is the founder and chairman of Switch Energy Alliance. He is the director of the Bureau of Economic Geology, the State Geologist of Texas, and the professor holding the All Day Endowed Chair in the Jackson School of Geosciences at the University of Texas at Austin. Scott serves as the on-screen guide in the highly acclaimed energy documentaries Switch and Switch On. He has served as president of and received medals from several major professional associations. In his global energy exploring, he has visited 60 countries and given nearly 1,000 keynote and invited lectures. Um, and with that, I would love to welcome Dr. Scott Tinker. Thank you, Olivia. Uh, it's nice to see you and, and wanna thank you and Mary, Tala and everyone who has worked so hard to put this competition together. I'm coming to you from the University of Michigan actually this morning in Ann Arbor. And, and uh, I know we have students from around the world, uh, close to 40 countries, over a thousand students on teams to compete in this year's competition. It's just wonderful to see that kind of engagement. This is one of the most important issues of our time, as you know, access to energy, not just a little bit of energy, but reliable energy, energy that you can count on and depend on like is done in the heavily developed and modern world. And there's no reason why that shouldn't be available to everyone on the planet. Access to energy is one of the great challenges of our time. Of course, it's a dual challenge, balancing that with climate change and other impacts of energy that all forms of energy have on the environment is vital. So as you think through your, your work uh, in the next coming weeks, you know, be, be cognizant of that. How do you provide energy and also uh, take care of the environment. These are such important things. And there's economic drivers behind all of that. So you'll be you'll be dealing with these and working with these. And it's going to be probably one of the most challenging and fun things you do in your life. And I think it will set you up in your careers for understanding the world in a much different way than most people do. And that's what makes this so exciting. I also want to thank our volunteers. We have volunteer mentors that have, that have uh, volunteered to work with your teams and judges and all sorts of people that have come together to make this happen. It's not easy to put a competition. Finally, I think, uh, you know, my friend Chuck Williamson and uh, John Olson, Petroleum Engineering, and those who have supported this competition, it doesn't happen without their support. There's a little money in this, I hear, for the top team, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. And, and again, I want to welcome you. Uh, thank you for your engagement. Stay with it. I know it'll be times when you feel like we just can't do this, but stay with it. It's it's worth completing. And I certainly look forward to seeing seeing you and seeing how things evolve by the end of the competition. Uh, Mary, Olivia, Tala, I'll turn it back over to you. Thank you, Dr. Tinker. Uh, Mary, you can flip ahead two slides. Um, I am also joined by my fellow volunte volunteers and staff members at Switch Energy Alliance who envisioned and organized this year's competition. So I'll now hand it off to Talha Tiramizi to tell us a little bit more about himself. 
Good morning, everyone. I'm Sayyid Talha Tirmizi. I'm a volunteer at Inter uh, Switch Energy Alliance, and I am currently studying MS Petroleum Engineering at Hilly Brand Department of Petroleum and Geosystems Engineering at University of Texas at Austin, USA. I am also the secretary at Society of Petrophysicists and Well Log Analyst, a UT st student chapter, as well as the founder and former president of Switch Ener uh, Student Energy. So if uh, we are, I'm so excited to be here, to be part of this global competition. I really wish, would like to congratulate the entire Switch Energy Alliance team for taking this competition to a whole new level. And everyone, please feel free to ask us any questions that you have. We are so glad to have you have your participation. Thank you so much, Olivia. Yeah. Thank you, Talha. Um, we are also joined by our staff at Switch Energy Alliance, so I'll now hand it off to Mary Tibbetts to introduce herself. Hi, everyone. I'm Mary Tibbetts. Um, I am the manager of educational programs at Switch Energy Alliance. I'm relatively new to the organization. I just started in April of this year. Before that, um, I was working in ed tech for about six years. Um, this case competition, putting it together, organizing it, um, being in touch with all of the, the volunteers and all of the students already has been just such an incredible and amazing experience. Um, just talking to people from all over the world who are, are so excited and engaged um, with energy and energy solutions has been, it, just experiencing it has been really incredible. And I, I'm really looking forward to the next few weeks um, as the, the competition continues. Thank you, Mary. Um, and you can go to the next slide. Um, as I mentioned earlier, my name is Olivia Rickert. Um, I'm currently pursuing a double bachelor's degree at the University of Texas at Austin, and I'm also conducting research at the University Energy Institute, studying the decarbonization of the U.S. transportation sector. Um, I've been a Switch Energy Alliance intern for over a year and a half now, and I'm very, very excited to uh, be involved with the case competition this year and be hosting the kickoff event as well. So uh, with that, we can go to the next slide. Um, we have received an overwhelming response from teams all around the world. Um, and this year will be even more competitive than last year. Um, if you are watching this, you are one of the 270 teams from 37 countries across all inhabited continents that registered for this case competition, which is very impressive. Um, Mary Tibbetts and I are now going to answer some questions one by one that we've received from the teams. Um, we will be monitoring the chat for questions, which won't be answered live, but we will follow up with answers in the Facebook group. So with that, we can go to question one. And the first question that we got from students was, is the main focus of the presentation on the budgeting of the specific energy solutions proposed? Um, and the answer is the budgeting is a significant portion of the case competition. Um, teams should lay out the budget, including sources of funding and timeline during their presentations. Um, however, the amount of time dedicated to budgeting in your presentation uh, will vary, but the explanations of budget and funding should be detailed. Next question. I can, I can take this one. Uh, the question was, what's the Switch Energy Alliance community like? Um, so Switch Energy Alliance is a community of energy professionals, academics, and concerned citizens like the students participating in this uh, competition who are dedicated to promoting energy literacy and engagement through data-driven educational programs such as the CASE competition and Switch Classroom, which is our free online educational platform um, that is available for all educators around the world to use in their classes. Um, SCA is a nonprofit organization, and we're dedicated to inspiring an energy educated future that is objective, nonpartisan, and sensible. Um, next question, uh, Mary, I think you can take this one. All right. Uh, the other question is, do the max budgets for each country represent capital or equity? So the max budgets represent the total capital for the projects, not the equity. Um, part of the challenge for this 
the case competition is finding creative energy solutions that fit within a realistic governmental budget. Uh, teams should focus less on revolutionizing the entire energy landscape of their countries and more on developing an impactful project that delivers the greatest value possible within the budgetary constraints. Um, I'll take this next question, which is, are we free to choose any country for the case competition? Um, the answer is teams must choose one of the three countries within the case packet, which are Nepal, Nicaragua, or South Sudan. Teams may not choose another country other than the three laid out in the case packet. Something that I wanted to add really quickly, Olivia, is that I received a few emails from people asking where do they submit their country of choice because that deadline is coming up this Monday. Um, and that information is in your case packet and key dates. There is a link to a form where you submit your countries. And that's also when you'll choose your team names. Um, so please reference your case packets that were sent out uh, for more information on that. And then I'll take this question as well. Uh, are the internship programs only available for the finalists? How about other participants who won't make it up to the final stage of the competition? So yes, there is one internship opportunity that only finalists can apply for. Um, so what that means is any member of a team that makes it to the finals can apply. However, only one finalist will be hired. So only one person, we have one internship opportunity that one person from that finalist pool will be hired for. Uh, those who do not make it to the finals do not qualify for that internship. It is part of the finalist prize package. Additionally, prize money will only be awarded to finalist teams. Uh, more information about the internship opportunity will be released before the October 29th deadline for case submissions. So we are um, finalizing all those details right now and I'm really excited to, to share them with you in the coming weeks. Question six, where can teams find information regarding how much funding different organizations could provide? Um, so teams should identify funding organizations uh, for infrastructure projects. Um, and to answer this question, uh, teams could investigate how much money they have provided in the past for analogous projects to identify how much funding the organizations could provide for your project. Then question seven, does the presentation need to be technical? Um, it's really up to you whether or not you choose a highly technical, uh, technologically driven solution. Um, but should you choose a technical solution, be sure it's practical and feasible and that you include enough details that the judges will be able to understand it. I believe that's our last question. Um, you can flip slides, Mary. Yeah, so before we conclude our event, um, there are a few important guidelines for the teams to note. Uh, please be reminded that October 18th is the last date to choose one of the three countries for your presentation, which have been provided in the prompt. You can also check our Facebook group where you'll find information related to the International Switch Energy Case Competition. And if you still have any other questions, please email them to Mary Tibbetts. In addition to this, a recorded version of this event, as well as future events, will be available at the Switch Energy Alliance website, the Facebook page, YouTube channel, and the Facebook group. And you can flip slides. Um, also, please stay connected with us because there's lots more to come in the following weeks. Next Saturday, we have an event on breaking into the energy industry hosted by Dr. John Olson at the Hildebrand Department of Petroleum and Geosystems Engineering at the University of Texas at Austin. Next slide. With that, we've come to the end of our kickoff event. Um, I would like to thank you all for your time. I hope this event was beneficial for everybody. Yes, thank you everyone for joining us today. Um, it's it's been so exciting, uh, even just with the first few weeks of the competition. 
and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the competition and definitely any um, questions that you have, um, leave them in the chat and they'll be addressed later or you can contact me directly at my email address below. Um, and also teams, if you haven't already done so, this is another reminder to please contact your mentors. They're very eager to, to speak with you and to help you out and to, to get started. Good luck, everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Good luck, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today. And with that, I will close the event. Thanks so much.